So I was watching Greek and Morty last night and I just love how they add little sprinklings of Greek mythology. First things first, they literally have Hephaestus. Not only is he wearing a Greek letter, he's also clearly a blacksmith living in a volcano. He's also super ugly, which is canonically a problem for Hephaestus. I'm not sure what it says about Hephaestus being put in the crew of people most likely to double cross Rick and Morty. What that says about Hephaestus? I'm sure there's something there, but I haven't worked it out. The very same episode involves this person called Ventriloquiver. And you can't tell me that that's not giving very Artemis. But also, she's very good at stargazing and actually names some of the stars and constellations according to what they mean in Greek mythology. Like she talks about the positioning of Cassiopeia. These writers are so smart. And of course, I watched this episode about how Rick literally has relations with a planet. Guess what the planet is called? Gaia, obviously. She's like an Earth. And we all know from Greek mythology that Gaia does give birth to beings, but I'm choosing to assume that there's no real relation to the Rick and Morty Hephaestus. Seeing as Hephaestus in Greek mythology impregnated Gaia accidentally to make the first Athenian. This same episode also has this character. He comes onto the screen first as like a sky daddy, which is literally what Zeus's name translates to, sky father. But this character's name is Reggie. Not sure why, but he does refer to himself as a Zeus. And you can't tell me that doesn't look like Zeus. Anyway, all in all, very entertaining.